Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and we're back for some more Pokemon Ranger. In the last episode, we completed our mission with the Rock Falls, and we took down the camera up with pretty much ease. And in this episode, we're going to see what Spencer has in store for us. Thanks to you, the Kroka Tunnel has been re reopened. You've accomplished the mission without flinching from the Go Rock Squad's interference. I'm hereby certifying you as rank Ranger Rank 6, Solana. Alright, so we're more than halfway there now. Solana was promoted to Ranger Rank 6. And we can now use Flying Poke Assist, so now we can finally uh, uproot those uh, weeds, you know, for the weed Pokemon. After all the running around we've done chasing after the Go Rock Squad, it's good to be back home. Solana, it's your first time back in Ringtown in quite some time. You should unwind and relax a bit. That said, there's no telling when a new mission will pop up, so don't leave Ringtown. Alright. You know, Solana, you're looking more and more like a proper ranger. Alright, it's good to see everyone back. I wonder what's I wonder where, uh... What's his face is with his slowpoke? Let's see why the rangers are here. Uh, yes, uh, we already know this. I thought maybe they would say something about our growth. Are we allowed to use the Dragonite yet? If it were up to me, I'd say it's high time you got the, to ride the Dragonite bugs. You haven't gotten the the Ranger Leader's approval yet, that's right. Isn't that right? Rules are rules. It's surprising, but they're pretty strict about that sort of thing. Having said, I honestly think you're real close to getting improved. I'll be looking forward to that. Well, at least that sounds good. Murph's... Oh, there we go. Murph. Now I remember his name. And they're very much opposite Pokemon. Indeed. Alright. Let's explore around town for a bit. Why not? Oh, so there is more than one minigame. Okay. So we do have uh, two other minigames that we'll probably see that involve capturing and uh, obtaining points. Alright. Let's head up. See what happens. Oh, I guess we guess we have uh, orders from the leader. I guess we can't really uh, leave. But yeah, I actually did want to mention something. So I recall in an earlier episode that we're discussing a Pokemon Ranger in the Temple of the Sea. And uh, I believe Solana actually appeared in the anime. So yeah, they had two tie-ins with, uh, with the games and anime. In a way, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, Solana actually appears in an episode of, uh, I think, one of the, in the Advanced series, so... Anyways. Doesn't seem like anything quite yet. Alright, uh, actually never see... Oh, seems to be a map of Fiora region. Yeah, if you actually zoom in, you could see everything. Uh, I believe there's a full-on map. That we could see as well that I think we saw in the beginning of the game like zoomed out. Let's save. I, I don't know if uh, anything's going to be triggered by it. Guess we could still talk to some people around here. Go Rock Squad is a one despicable lot. They've been known to sweet talk people with promises of solving the trouble they caused in the first place, only to demand exuberant payments afterwards. They've also captured Pokemon using odd stylers and ruthlessly made the poor Pokemon work. Yes, indeed. The Go Rock Squad is one despicable lot. Alright, seems like the Go Rock Squad is affecting people here as well. I wonder what this little girl now says. Yeah, it's Pikachu. Okay, never mind. Uh, she still says very much the same thing. I guess she's an avid Pikachu fan. More of a Raichu guy myself. Did you hear the news? Capture Challenge opened locally. It's just east of Ringtown. I was thinking you might enjoy it as a little change of pace. Was I being too nosy? Oh, hi, Solana. Don't be a stranger. Come on, come in, come in. Oh, you're already in. By the way, Solana, I've heard that you cleared the rock falls in Kuroka Tunnel. You know, everyone in town was overjoyed to hear that. We surely appreciate it. Well, that's 
pretty good. It seems like everybody's acknowledging our, uh, what we've done. I wonder what this guy has to say. There was an old guy wandering around the Lyra forest. I wonder if he's okay. He was muttering to himself and he went to the deep part of the forest. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Uh, okay, I don't know what else would happen. Seems like some guy wandered up. I wonder, uh, let's see. Maybe we have to talk to the mom. She's the only one we didn't talk to. Hopefully she says something different. And that's pretty much all the towns, well, houses here. Let's see. Not the refrigerator. <laughs> Who are those terrible Gorok Squad people? They've been extorting money from people by intimidating them with their Pokemon. They've also been forcing people into buying junk they don't need. And they do these things where they can avoid the eyes of you rangers. So yeah, definitely a lot of info coming out about them. I think that's about it. Uh, hopefully, after speaking with everyone, we could now start. I guess not. What's going on? I don't. I honestly don't know. I guess we'll recharge our Styler, see if that changes anything. Yes, I know. Oh my, don't tell me I'm like stuck on the first episode back to Ringtown. I've talked with everyone. What is what is there left to do? Uh. Oh, here we go. Lyra Forest is a safe haven for Pokemon. Unless you are very good, have a very good reason to keep out of the forest. There's no telling if a wild Pokemon will speak, come start or attack out of fear. Oh, and there is the MC right there. MC Fielder. Alright, we could do that with Doe Duo, so... Let's see. Let's do it, why not? I guess we could do that. I guess that'll be the way to wind down. So, I'm guessing this is very similar to the Lapras Challenge with MC Fisher. 5,000 points. I'm guessing that the, uh, the record holder is likely Joel because of his Doe Duo. Do but, uh, yeah, I was mentioning how there's extra Pokemon. I actually watched a Digino you know, Gaming video recently, and, uh, yeah, the Japan... It seems like, uh, Pokemon Company isn't interested in the Gale of Darkness series returning, or the Ori region in general. I'm a little bit disappointed, but, hey, nothing we could really do about it. But I heard, saw that the, uh... That the, uh, musician for, uh... Can I capture you? There we go. I saw that the uh, guy behind the OST for it really wanted to come back. He's been—he's actually played music here and there for, uh, like, making little remixes with his piano with uh, town themes. And we just got Bulbasaur. We also caught Sprinkle earlier. It has a unique gimmick with its uh, jump, so you have to like be very aware of its jump heights. See anything in here? Oh, we got something going around. Oh, we got a Curlia. Interesting. I've always wanted to talk about the Gardevoir line, but uh, seems like this is our first encounter here, and it's with a Curlia. Very weird to see the mid-evolution before the uh, pre- or even the uh, final evolution. Yeah, I've always wanted to discuss the Curlia line. And we got ourselves a Dawn fan here. Now, I did mention in the last episode... How, oh my god, I have to really focus there, but yeah, I mentioned how in the last episode that uh, I meant that I had a Fanfi on my team in Crystal. Oh, I guess that teleporting sound was Curlia. Yeah, I mentioned how I had a, a Fanfi on my team, became a Dawn fan. I kind of realized that I took way too much inspiration off of Chugger Conroy. Uh, just had too many, I just had his team members, like Froligator and Dawn fan. I mean, Froligator, I'm pretty sure. Oh! There we go, another Curlia. I'm guessing that this will allow us to get Gardevoir. Well, knowing the uh, other ones, but yeah. Yeah, so I realized how I used some of his team members. Oh, another teleporting Pokemon. And oh my god, there's Gardevoir right there. And Abra has a cool gimmick where you actually have to follow the stylist with it. So whenever it teleports, you have to follow it or else it will be broken. 
pretty cool gimmick, honestly. Uh, did Gardevoir really teleport away? Anyways, let's check up here. Oh my god, there she is! Or he! I don't know, I usually refer to Gardevoir as a she because I like having Gardevoir and Galate together. And we got Gardevoir, interestingly enough. Oh! Oh, that's a cool gimmick! It's used Double Team to try faking us out. That's actually pretty cool. That's not the only Pokemon we'll see fit, trying to fake us out around here. I should know through the outtakes. Oh wow, Gardevoir was just as much as Abra? A little bit disappointing. Oh wow! Another Gardevoir should be good in the amount of points. Should get... There we go. I thought maybe she uh, she would be worth a little bit more points, but I guess not. Oh my god! Uh, can I can I get one at least one of them? Oh my god! Uh. Oh my god! That was so scary. It's always one Toros breaking the combo. Come on. Time's already ran up. There we go. That should be worth a lot of points. Yep, and we did break the record. Oh my god. Oh. Clutched it out with those Toros. And Joel has been dethroned. How'd your captures go today? You're itching to know the results? I know. So let's check it out. Solana's results, yo. Our Pokemon complete captures is total is 13 Pokemon. And the total score is 5,800 points. You're amazing, yo. You shut up Joel's record, yo. Wow, it took us one try on Joel, who's a more competent Ranger than the guy back at Summerland. So, what do you say, Ranger? Do you want to take another try at the capture challenge? I think we'll pass. I think we've already broken the record. Alright. Oh, I guess we can't really go there. Can't have uh, some of the Pokemon. There is another Pokemon there that is uh, pretty interesting, and that is Kecleon. Uh, it's actually invisible, so you ha and it fires off a giant beam, so it's a very dangerous Pokemon to go after, but it's pretty hard to capture as well because of how, uh, because of its invisibility. Anyways, we tried that out, and our leader was looking for you, Solana. I've been ordered to head for Summerland. If we both end up there, let's hit the field together. Alright, interesting. So I'm guessing he's off to Summerland. As for us, on the other hand, let's see what Spencer has. Oh, Solana, you're back. I have a mission I want you to take. There have been reports of a senior citizen wandering lost deep inside the Lyra Forest. I want you to locate the senior citizen and escort him to safety. That is your latest mission. Alright, so here we go, our next mission. Uh, okay, we already talked to you, Spencer. Guess this is what happens when I mash A too much. But yeah, that's, uh, those are some pretty interesting mechanics. I like those fake-outs from Gardevoir, Abra, and, uh, well, Kecleon, but we didn't see Kecleon. Anyways, we got mission number six, the Wayward Wanderer. Hi, Solana, I waited around for you. Let's go together for a while. On my way to Summerland, but I don't have to be there right away. Besides, hasn't it been a while since we last worked together? So long, you're headed for the deepest parts of Lyra Forest, right? Let me accompany you. Alright, so we got uh, someone accompanying us for the first time in a while. It's been a while since we've seen some of these Pokemon as well. We got Mudkip. Yeah, pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty interesting to be back here. It's been a while. I mean, it's been a total of like six episodes or so since we last been here. Oh. Excuse me, Rangers. Have you seen the little girl with two Jigglypuff? She's my daughter. I don't think she's lost or in trouble. But I'd like to find her. I mean, she does sound like she's lost. A little girl with two Jigglypuff. We haven't seen anyone around. I like that around 
Wait, like that on our way from Ringtown? Okay, that's fine. Then I suppose to, I'm supposed to meet her, but I'm too early anyways. If you happen to come across my daughter, can you tell her that her daddy's waiting here? Sure thing, we'll do that. We're going deep into the forest, so we'll likely see her soon. Of course, if you're worried, I can get in touch with the ranger base. Oh, no, no, no. You don't need to do that. She's playing, probably playing hide-and-seek with the Jigglypuff. Thanks for your concern, though. Like, how am keep trying to catch up, but... Here we go. Uh, I guess not. Thought maybe that that's where the direction where it was. But, I think it's over here. Path to the deep part. And the forest is this way. The deepest parts of Lyra Forest is nicking the Labyrinth Grove. Because it's so confusing there. There's usually a ranger here to warn about the people about that, but the Gorok Squad mission has left us short-staffed. I bet the lost old man wandered deeper into the forest because there was no one here to warn him. And that's a very familiar sound. It's a Jigglypuff! Look, the Jigglypuff's going deeper into the forest. Let's go after it. Alright, here we go. Got uh, the Jigglypuff in sight. Well, in sight. In here. Check more no north. Oh. There's a little girl. She's crying, too. Hi, little girl. What's wrong? Wow, my Jigglypuff ran away into the dark part of the forest. I had to, but now there's only one, and my daddy's not here, and it's dark and scary in this forest. It's okay, it's okay. Your daddy's waiting for you. As for your Jigglypuff, let's see. Solana, I'll stay here with this little lady. Please go find her runaway Jigglypuff. Okay, that's enough crying. The nice ranger will go and get your Jigglypuff. Let's play some games and wait here for her. Okay, I won't cry anymore. Alright. Here we are in the Lyra Forest, like the deeper uh, parts. They're definitely see giving me a lot of uh, Mystery Dungeon uh, vibes from it. Well, the music. I just got a rock here. Requires one to bash. Uh, we're seeing quite a bit of mudkips here. And a Cyndaquil. Uh, did we catch a Cyndaquil? Oh, wait, we never did. I'm s I for completely forgot about that. That's the uh, last Johto starter I think we haven't caught yet. There we have it. There we go. Oh, and here we have a new Pokemon. It is Ivysaur. It's been a while since I've actually uh, talked about my Leaf Green Let's Play. Well, I mean, that was technically our last Pokemon Let's Play. Uh, well, before this, but I wouldn't count this as, like, you know, mainline Pokemon. It is a spin-off afterwards. But yeah, miss uh, my old uh, Venusaur. Uh, oh, there's a Jigglypuff. And I don't know... Don't I honestly don't know why the... Uh, oh, I guess Jigglypuff also has that mechanic. Or jumps... Where it jumps super high in the air. Oh, okay, I guess that was useless. There we go. That was unnecessarily long. And there we go. We got Jigglypuff registered. Oh, and Cyndaquil immediately gets into a fight, fight with us. And we immediately capture it. <laughs> Nice. All right. Making some fast progress already. We don't have any Pokemon to tackle. We got another Cyndaquil here, but... Anyways, let's see. It's around here, and... Okay, never mind. I guess Panthe was also around here. So it makes sense for Donphan to be nearby as well. And here we go. Your Jigglypuff is back. It's my Jigglypuff! My Jigglypuff! My Jigglypuff! My Jigglypuff! Thank you, Ranger Girl. <laughs> I like how we do a nice little uh, pose. Or classic pose. Let's take your Jigglypuff and, and, and go... Wait, let's take your Jigglypuff and go see your daddy. I'll go with you. Would you like that little lady? Okay, I want my daddy. Um, I saw a lost old man. He went that way. Can he go home? He was mumbling and talking to himself. And he saw us and he yelled at my Jigglypuff. Get out of the way! My poor Jigglypuff got scared and he ran into the forest. That old, mean old man laughed. Fwahaha. I don't like that lost old man. The lost old man, the lost old man, this little lady's talking about must 
be the same one you're looking for, Solana. You better go after him before he wanders even deeper into the forest. I'd like to stay and help, but I have to get Roland to Summerland after escorting this little lady. Let's try to look good on our mission, Solana. Bye bye, Ranger Girl. Interesting. That is uh, definitely something we should be worried about, and that is that old man. He has a very sinister sounding laugh. Anyways, let's get to capturing this Pamphy. Yeah, that's a very interesting tidbit, that how that old man sounds. That definitely doesn't sound like an old man. I hope it sounds something much more sinister. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got Pichu, but I'm trying to run away. Oh, wow, I can't believe I forgot how easy it is to capture Pichu. All right. Uh, I believe we could actually destroy that rock finally. To deeper. Uh, I can't believe I actually forgot about that rock. Oh well, we just went in a complete circle. I guess this is a lapis after all. Oh, right, here we go. Interesting, this looks familiar. Our forest gives thanks to the spirit that and and light that fills this forest. Definitely sounds familiar to the Johto region's uh, forest. Styler received a text message. I just received additional information about this missing senior citizen. He appears to have become lost as a result of being chased by a wild weeping bell in the forest. We can build Lyra Forest and try to scoop up intruders and spit them outside of their territory. Keep in mind, Solana. Good luck with the mission. Well, I guess I, I guess he deserves it. Haha. -ha. I'm just kidding. And we haven't seen a tail in a while. That's pretty interesting. I guess that's, that is our flying Poke SS that we're finally going to get. Yeah, this old man, it seems like he's in trouble, especially with those weeping bell. We're going to get him. The weeping bell kind of remind me of a certain uh, enemy from the Mario and Luigi series. They're like those little sock puppet things. That uh, have poisonous insides. I'm guessing they're based off the same thing, if I had to guess. I mean, they look very similar, too. I mean, they even have poisonous insides and are greenish. I mean, Weeping Bell's more yellow, but still, it does have some green. It also is a grass type. Well, grass poison. Oh, speak of the devil, there's Weeping Bell and Ivysaur. And. I just like how it just expands its whole mouth. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. There we go, we got both. Oh, uh, yeah. I have to get rid of those two. I like how one flies earlier than the other. Oh, and we got some, an upgrade already. It is Swallow. Whoa, this thing's moving very fast. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely not going to take the chances of getting extra EXP on this thing. Oh uh, yeah, release Taylor. Alright, um... Uh, Let's see what's up ahead. We got Pikachu! Oh, this is our first time seeing this guy. It's got an adorable sprite. It's using Thunder Jolt! It's trying to use its broken projectile against us. Nice. Alright, uh... We're actually kind of going to need that. I don't know if we need Cyndaquil for anything. Eh, I think we'll use it for the rock later. Uh, yeah, I think we're coming very close to the end here. Beware of the mischievous weeping bell. If you choose to get too close, you, it will swallow you up and send you back to the entrance. Oh! That, is, that does sound very dangerous, never mind. And also very annoying to deal with.
Oh, well, seems like uh, made it to a cliff. Well then, I guess I was anticlimactic, so I think we're going to end it off here. Love my videos, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Next time on Pokemon Ranger, we're going to be exploring more of the Labyrinth within the Lyra Farm.